Hi there, this is the engineering problem for introduction to vectors, and uh, basically uh, we're going to just do a quick problem and I'm going to explain the pulley systems. So, uh, James is in charge of lifting an 800 pound bed off the ground using a rope and pulley arrangement of his choice. If James is comfortable pulling 100 pounds, what is the arrangement he should use? And I need to explain. So, first off, let's just explain general pulleys. I'm going to draw out three different situations. Uh, first of all, let's do this one. And then you're going to have to have something here. This is connected, so then since you go up, pull down, that's your T. I'm going to call it T, that's tension, right? Then this goes up to connect. So then I'm going to call this F. Okay? Now, the analysis of the F pulley, which I like to call it the F pulley, will look something along the lines of this. T and T. That's just the tension you're putting in the rope. Here's your force. So what you find out is that using this technique, this setup, you get F will equal two times your T by just having this setup. So what's your mechanical advantage of that? I'm just going to say two because you put in 100 pounds and you get out 200. So yeah, that, that's a good way of setting this up. We'll have situation, right? Then you'll have your analysis and um, your mechanical advantage. So yeah, let's, let's do another one. Um, well, we should always have a pulley up at top because you can do a lot with a pulley that's attached to the ceiling. So let's just let let's have another pulley down here. This will be our F pulley, and then we can have another one, another pulley over here. So what we'll do is we'll have this rope come down and attach where the F connects then we'll have it go around here like that and let me attach this okay so now you pull T here's your point where F is connected let's analyze it look at the F pulley only and what you realize is that you have a situation that's like this. T, 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 F. Well, what does that equal? F equals 3T. Mechanical advantage of 3. And these can get... Um, well, I, I could show you another situation. This final situation is actually one that you can kind of just continue and continue and continue and never stop. So, um, let's see, this one to here to here. What this is, you're going to have a rope that goes up, to, attaches the wall, then it's going to come up attach the middle of this pulley. You're going to have a similar situation right here. That's your T. Here's your F, F force pulley. This is where the bed is going to be hanging from. So what I want you to realize is that this is essentially the same thing. If you just look at the F pulley, 
it's the same thing right here F T and T but this one I'm just gonna call this T1 okay that T1 goes to another pulley which gets split up again to what I'm just gonna call T2 okay so you'll find that you're you're pulling at a rate of T2 it gets split in half and then it gets or I mean it gets doubled and then it gets doubled again so this is actually F equals 4T because T1 equals two T2's and F equals uh, two T1's. So F equals four T2's, which T2, T2 is your, um, the how much you're actually pulling. So I should actually put T2 up here, okay? So that's your mechanical advantage of four. And you can replicate that keep doing it over and over again you can get it up to 16 15 or 16 uh 32 any of these so uh so we haven't answered our question yet though to lift uh 800 pounds right comfortably um we will need a mechanical advantage advantage right of eight right and I'll just show you what that will look like I know this is a, a, a relatively simple system that I'm going to show you. There are many more that you could do, but the concepts are the same. And I'll just draw it out. I'm not going to explain it too much. But let's say you had a pulley to a pulley to a pulley. And then you have just one of these roundabout pulleys to make it go down. So you find that this goes here, this goes all the way up to the roof, this goes here, this goes all the way up to the ceiling, ceiling, and back around for a pull. I'm going to say TP, okay? Now just watch me here. I'm going to label this one, two, and three. Or no, let's label this last one F. I always like to label it F because we have an F of 800 pounds right here. Okay. So, for the first analysis, right, which is like this, we know it's the same thing, right? Or er, this will be T2. TP. So we know T2 equals 2 TP. We'll know T3 will equal 2 T2s. And yeah, and then F will equal 2 T3s. So essentially, what you're going to have is 100. T2 will equal 200. T3 will equal 400 and F will equal 800. So you can kind of see how it escalates from the TP equaling 100 mm -hmm. and it, it basically what you're doing is you're just going to keep doing that until you get the amount you want and you can use twos and threes and I mean essentially it's limitless so um, and one of the big topics that uh, you find in dynamics, um, vector dynamics later on, is that um, the amount of rope you have to pull 
right here for pulley systems will actually increase the higher your load is, uh, or the higher your uh, mechanical advantage is. So the mechanical advantage of 8 would actually have a lot of rope you would need to pull to actually get the desired lift that you want. But that's a different topic, and uh, I'm going to run through a 3D example next. So, see you in the next video.